Hello class, Dr. Yates here. Just wanted to give you some verbal tips on what we're going to be doing today. So today is about your video platform interview considerations. And so I'll be giving some voiceover tips. There's a PDF of some tips and um, hopefully all of these will help all of you uh, start to get ready for some interviews and that will most likely be over video platform. Uh, the first thing that I'd like to just make very clear is we're using Zoom in this and uh, there, there will be some audio issues. Uh, just so you know, you should be really, really uh, secure and uh, prepared in the um, system that you're using or that you're being asked to use for the, uh, for the interview. So recently I had to give a master class using WebEx. I had not used that platform yet, so I actually had to spend a couple hours kind of practicing with it to get used to it, just as an example. For starters, I'd like to point out that it's important to have a setup that works for you. So I've included a couple photos here. These are setups that work for me. Notice that I've got a setup for teaching, but I've also got a setup for taking notes and being more interview based with my notes stood up next to my uh, laptop so that I can actually see those notes and refer to them as needed. One thing to keep in mind while you're thinking about what you want your Zoom background to look like is making sure that you've got a professional background. So in this example, I've got Lydia. Uh, she's got a bookcase behind her and a blank wall. And then uh, Kristen has the cat kind of playing behind her, um, which is a little less professional. So be aware of what your animals are doing and make sure that they try to stay out of the picture because you don't want anyone in your interview to be influenced either positively or negatively by what your background has to say. Another thing to take into consideration is the lighting. Make sure that there's enough light on to see you and that there's not light behind you, making it difficult to see you. Something else to take into consideration is the sound that you have in the background. So make sure that you don't have any fans on or any blowers on if possible. And if you have a TV on in the background, make sure you turn it off so that people can hear the important answers that you are giving. Kristen, can you just tell us a little bit about what it's like to teach a class while your students are preparing for a hurricane? Yeah, so when students are preparing for a hurricane, it's usually important to think about how they may not have access to internet, or if they lose their power, they may not have access to um, Moodle or other tools that make classroom learning um, really functional for them. So I think the best thing to do in that situation is to kind of, you know, be Notice how hard it is to really understand what Kristen's answer is with all the background noise. Also be aware that eating well on a Can Zoom call is very unprofessional. It's important to eat cereal while you're in an interview. I find that it rejuvenates my mind so that I'm better able to answer questions. Another thing to consider when you're preparing for a video platform interview is that you've got all your devices charged up. So whatever device you'll be doing the interview on, make sure that you are charged up and ready to go. Make sure that when you are getting ready to share your screen, that whatever you want to show is actually up there. And on Zoom and WebEx and most video platforms, you can actually determine exactly what you want to have up there. Um, you may have notes on there that you don't want your interview committee to see, um, or you may actually want them to see certain documents that you're actually reading off of. So, um, you know, for me, it's good to show that I've got this graph with a recruiting plan for my studio, but I may not necessarily want the committee to see that I've written down all their names so that I can remember them or that I've even got pictures up with them so that I remember who is who. Um, additionally, one thing that you want to be really aware of if you share your screen during an interview or any sort of video platform meeting is that all your tabs are appropriate for the meeting. And um, this, this doesn't necessarily lead to super inappropriate things, but you may not want to show um, some of the things that you're actually um, thinking about outside of that interview, such as how far away a job may be from home or what the housing market is like. Additionally, you may not want to show any of the news articles that you're reading, um, which may even show a political leaning that could hurt or help you. Who knows? Uh, you don't want to show people your personal calendar so that they're looking at all of the other appointments that you may have in a given week. You probably also don't want to have uh, a browser open that shows any sort of thing that, that you're thinking of buying or purchasing, things like that.
another consideration to take into mind is making sure that you're actually looking at the camera on your computer. So be sure that you're really looking at that so that people will feel like they're getting eye contact from you. Of course. Um, the C trumpet and the B flat trumpet uh, are different in length. So the B flat trumpet is slightly longer than the C trumpet, which means that it is pitched a whole step lower. Um, and so this difference uh, results in a difference in tone. The C trumpet is much more uh, brilliant than the B flat. In addition to looking at the camera and looking good on camera, it's also important to sound good on a camera. So make sure that you're reducing filler words that if you do take a pause, explain it to your audience, and also consider really making sure like everyone knows when you're actually book. done giving like, an answer. I really like the Blazovich in a Cloud book. I really like the pink one, but then I've also like tried and looked online at a few different options, and it was like a little bit like, ooh, but, um, and like, especially when students are like a little bit like confused about like the tenor five, and if you have them read like different type of experts and stuff. Some like final that. considerations for the way you look ooh, on Zoom. Make sure like, that you're not slouched on the couch or in an easy chair. Um, making sure that your audience really knows that you are identifying with them and that you're trying to be part of that group. Also keeping the camera focused on your head and a good portion of your torso will help give the uh, interview committee a good idea of what you look like and how you're answering. One final note is that if you use your phone, make sure you use it in a stable place. It's difficult to watch when you're moving it around. Some final ideas about Zoom specifically are keeping your Zoom name professional and also keeping your profile picture professional. Um, and if you don't have a profile photo, then making sure that you're just leaving that as your name so that people know who you are. Finally, you want to make sure that all of the um, virtual backgrounds um, are not really used in a professional setting. It's um, less likely that people take you seriously with a virtual background Another thing to do is make sure that you actually end all of your answers so that your listeners know recital seminar is. I think one of my favorite things about being a GA for a recital seminar is being able to meet and talk to students who I normally wouldn't necessarily have a chance to talk to. Um, and being able to hear them in student performances is something that I definitely uh, really enjoy. So yeah, I think that is uh, one of my favorite things about uh, being a GA for a recital seminar. Additionally, if you have internet issues, go ahead and tell your interviewers that you're having those issues. Yes, I very much enjoy reading, uh, and I like to go on long walks, and I like to spend time with... Uh-oh, I think we may have lost her. And those are some of my favorite things. I'm sorry. Uh, I seem to have be having some internet problems at the moment. Remember to always assume that your microphone's on and don't say anything you don't want the interviewers uh, to hear. Not now. I have to do this stupid thing with Dr. Yates. Hold on. Uh, Lydia, what is your favorite thing about performing in all the different ensembles at UL? Try not to fall into the trap of leaving your microphone off. Make sure that it's on and make sure you watch uh, your interviewers so that you know it's not on. Thanks again for watching this video today. I hope it helped give everyone some ideas about what they need to be thinking about when it comes to video platform interviews. If you have any questions, please refer to the document that's included or uh, drop myself or one of the GAs an email. Good luck.